7,500 kilometers in 33 days is the challenge for the German solar bike team. I'm Kilian. And I'm Jonas. And Sun Trip Sahara will be the adventure of our lives. The two teenagers are racing their tandem recumbent bike all the way through the Sahara Desert. But why are they doing it and what's so special about it? Obviously, we are two riders. Uh, so we have a bike for two people. It's a tandem uh, made by a Czech brand Artsup. And I personally converted it to electric, so I added an uh, Windmeile electric hub motor. And uh, now the exciting part, we added uh, a roof. That's very nice for us because we're sitting not directly in the sun. But it's also uh, made out of solar panels, which uh, produce energy when the sun shines. And with that energy, we power the electric motor so we can go faster than without an electric assistant and uh, also it charges the battery so if we have bad weather for example when it rains uh, we have some uh, electricity left to continue cycling with high pace. Um, we prefer to drive with a tandem and um, we did it the last years um, with a Asa tandem to from uh, Würzburg where we live to um, the sea and it was a very cool tour so we had much fun to drive with the tandem and so it was no option to drive with two different bikes oh it's very cool so um, you never have to stay alone so you can talk with with uh, each other and yeah it's very much fun <laughs> also uh, it equals us quite in our po power obviously uh, i can't tell who is more trained but obviously there are differences and uh, it would also be a big effect if we would ride, for example, different bikes. So no one can be faster. I'm sitting half a meter in front of him, so no chance of going faster than him. We are connected to each other, so we're one team and uh, I think that that makes it special and uh, we are a good team. We, we can communicate and we have no, no problems, even now three weeks together on one bike, sleeping in one tent and eating the same shit. <laughs> uh, upright bikes, like normal bicycles, are uh, great for riding short distance, but if you want to travel long time and long distances, it's very comfortable to ride a recumbent bike and uh, the brand Atsu was uh, willing to send us this bike to go on this adventure together. There are different reactions, but the most reaction is, whoa, what is it? They take their phone, make photos and videos of us, put their fingers, oh, it's so cool. They are, they are clapping or, or they are crying to us, yeah, 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 go far, and it's so cool. Yeah, that are very cool moments. Also here in Morocco? Yeah, yeah. All, yeah. All, all, in all countries, yeah. okay. same reaction in all countries. Very and cool, yeah. obviously the bike is branded with my name, so uh, it's nice when they send us the video of yeah. us cycling. So we have some camera views. We don't get if the people wouldn't be that nice. I uh, mean, the front I'm steering and navigating where we want to go and as well as shifting. And uh, for Jonas, his job is to change the direction or orientation of the solar panel to increase our solar production and to have it always straight to the sun. We already traveled around 5000 kilometers and the weather was a big mix. Uh, in the beginning we had very bad weather, it was raining quite a lot, but then uh, after we entered Africa and Maroc it uh, became better and better and uh, now we can uh, push our solar bikes to its limit because we have enough sun and we are motivated to give full power. The most days we had enough energy but there are some days with clouds and on the, um, on the mountains, the Pyrenees, there was a big cloud on, on the mountains and it was a big problem, we have to pull the, uh, push the bike. And yeah, but we did it on and next day it was better, the sun came out and yeah. And we also ran into a uh, snowstorm or <laughs> snow ice storm, storm yeah, I, I, in Portugal. <laughs> it was that big uh, on the ice. Solar, on the solar panel. Yes, all those yeah. ice 
we, we had, drops hit our solar panel. Yeah, we had so to we, stay under our bridge <laughs> so that nothing damaged there. For both of us, it's a big mix. We can't tell you one big moment. Obviously, it's our first time in Africa, so the moment we entered the ferry was very exciting. Um, on the other hand, it's more about meeting new people and how they interact with us, if they follow us with their bikes and we ride some kilometers together or we get invited uh, or just have a chat and uh, talk about what we ride with and uh, that's what makes this trip for us so special. That's it from Morocco and now the German solar bike team is cycling through Europe and we will join them in the next video. Subscribe to the channel and leave your questions in the comments.